<laughs> Is it like a race? <laughs> you won, Emily. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Hello, California. You're welcome. <clears throat> that door just went off quick. All right, there you go. And some of y'all, when y'all want to have your little conversations, go to another place. Go to, a, you know, you can have a little watch party and keep your side comments to yourself. But I'm being awfully nice here. And I've bitten my tongue about a lot of things that were said. So, um, but for those of you that have never experienced the miracle of birth, that's why we're still here. Um, she has waxed, which those of you that have been following us and listening and learning, you uh, know that wax is when the blossom forms on the end of the teeth. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. She is dripping milk. Sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't. I'm fixing to read to y'all. Again, from Blessed Are the Brood Mares, okay? And I can't read your comments while they're all flying past there, so I'll just go ahead and talk how you're ever going to talk. But, um, oh, where'd our little marker go? Oh, there you go. Uh, all right. In other species, the first stage of labor is clearly visible with symptoms of abdominal straining and strenuous muscular activity. It is quite different in the case of broodmares. There is no external evidence of the internal changes that are taking place during the first stage of a mare's labor. Because of this quite normal absence of any external abdominal muscular activity, the mare can slip through the first stage of labor undetected but unless the first stage of labor is recognized, it is not possible to determine the status of the mare. It is most important that this stage not be missed because once labor, the second stage, has commenced, there is no provision for delay as exists in other species. When labor is initiated, because of the hormones released by the pituitary gland, there are observable signs given by the mare. Hold on. Hello. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Imagine that. No. I never leave. Oh, was that a joke? Oh my gosh, that was a that was that was that was not a good joke. You know I never leave. Uh, no, I'm here. I just restarted the live feed and was fixing to read on my chapter. Either. Um, I don't, and I don't, I don't know how to work a lot of this stuff. So, um, but it it was gonna be easier on the laptop. There was a kind of a new setup on it, you know, when you go when you do those eight-hour feeds. 
But anyway, oh well. All right, bye. Kyla. No, I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, and the hay was fine. Good. All right, bye. Um, okay. Where were we? When labor is initiated, because of the hormones released by the pituitary gland, there are observable signs given by the mare. Restlessness, stall walking, switching the tail, and kicking at the abdomen are the most common signs. Sweating over the shoulders, flanks, and chest is quite a reliable sign. We haven't seen that yet. It may occur with or without restlessness. Oh gosh. Oh, why'd you scare me like that? You should have been doing something you shouldn't have been doing. I'm just reading. Oh my God, what happened? Or does it need something on it? All right, that Timmy just called. He was going to pick up Becky, and they were going to come by and check on everything. Timmy Edwards and Becky. All right, have a baby. Yeah, I wish you'd cooperate to do that. I'll be I'll be up there a bit. Uh, okay, I was all into the reading there and didn't even know he'd walked in the barn. They all need to quit scaring me. Uh, such behavior can simulate colic, so it requires very close observation to differentiate between colic and the start of labor. If the mare looks at her sides, gets up and goes down for short periods, snatches grain or hay while still walking, perhaps defecates frequently, and passes small amounts of urine, you can be quite sure that the first stage of labor is in progress. Elevation of the tail with flicking movements is a direct reflection of internal pressures created by the advancing fetus. The gradual relaxation of the tail musculature and surrounding area coupled with a sudden profound relaxation of the vulva are signs that falling is imminent. The mare's udder should be dripping even streaming milk. Note, however, that mares vary from the extreme of no udder at all to a full flow that has saturated their hind legs for days preceding delivery. Changes present, but not often noted, are increased respiration and increased heart and pulse rate. These are usually accompanied by reduced body temperature, and I haven't taken her temperature. Even though the mare may show several of the above indications that foaling is near, there exists no evidence of straining to show what is happening inside the mare during this first stage. Nonetheless, two major changes are taking place. First, the uterine wall, which is composed of, and I'm not very good at pronouncing some of these words, which is composed of circular and longitudinal fibers contracts and moves the fetus from its 11th month lopsided location in the one horn and body of the uterus to the centrally located position in preparation for delivery. At this time, the bowl is ideally presented in a disarchal position, that is, the spinal axis of the foal is in a parallel plane with the spinal axis of the dam, with both forelegs preceding the head. The second internal change happening simultaneously with the first is the gradual dilation and softening of the cervix, which per permits the departure of the fetus from the uterus to and through the dilated canal. All these internal changes take place without disrupting a quiet external abdominal picture. A mare may break out, become restless, defecate frequently while walking about the stall or even eat and then abruptly get down and with a sudden rush of water present through the vulva lips a grayish white sack with a foot inside. This mare has just slipped through the first stage of labor with total absence of muscular activity or visible contractions and we are suddenly facing the second stage of labor. 
the length of time of the first stage can vary from a short interval to the extreme of 24 hours and still not interfere with the production of a live foal. No danger exists for the fetus during this period if the placenta is intact and providing oxygen and nutrients. Simultaneously, the hormonal effects upon the mare's system continue to cause relaxation of musculature, gradual cervical softening and opening, and positioning of the foal for delivery. <clears throat> The foal may be prepared with an astronaut or a deep sea diver. As long as its support systems are intact and functioning, it can survive in its own safe sack. But the built-in margin of safety is not great and premature or off-schedule interruptions immediately create a potentially precarious situation. talked about <coughs> them in their own little deep sea diver thing. I don't see that now. Maybe it's in the next chapter. The start of the second stage of labor, or what I've been telling y'all is active labor, is easily recognized by the rupture of the placental membranes, which releases a large volume of fetal fluid. This is referred to as the water bag breaking. As many mares break this membrane while standing as do those who go down to a resting position, from the moment the water bag, bag breaks until the foal is completely delivered and respiration has started. Time is precious and very short. Once this second stage is started, strict alertful watchfulness is essential. Delivery will progress relentlessly until completed. At this point, let me make it clear that there is a double sack arrangement that has been protecting the foal throughout its fetal life. The foal lives in its intimate amniotic sac, which floats throughout gestation in a surrounding insulation of fetal fluid, fully contained with an outer, heavy, supportive second sac. The Alantonius chlorin? I can't pronounce that. This, in turn, is attached to the endometrium or one cell thick inner lining of the uterus. When the cervix is fully dilated, the fetus enters the birth canal and is moved along by powerful uterine contractions to that point at which the foal's foot, still encased in the amniotic sac, ruptures the outer sac, the allantonius chlorion, or the placenta. I can't say the other one. Placenta, let's just call it the placenta. It is this rupture that produces the great escape of fluid. This water, in reality, with amniotic fluid, not only lubricates the mare's reproductive tract, but provides vital moisture and the lubrication necessary for easy delivery of the foal. The foal is actually delivered in its own protective, slippery, water-filled membrane amniotic sac. After the great rush of water, usually several gallons, gallons in volume, if properly released, the mare should lie down. She will usually remain up on her sternum in a dog-like position for a short period before rolling over on her side. Then she assumes a position with all four legs extended stiffly in a manner peculiar to mares. This position is an indication that she is down to serious business. A laterally recumbent position is helpful because her body weight complements the uterine contractions as well as the dynamic abdominal contractions. Occasionally, a mare will remain on her feet walking around the stall after the second stage of labor is underway. She may rise, then go down again, with the foal's front feet, forefeet already presented. This is frightening to see, but with a quiet mare, it is a waiting game. Stay out of the stall, and if given a chance, the mare will probably go down and deliver normally. If while she is standing or walking, powerful abdominal contractions are visible, it is clear that the mare intends to fall standing. 
and help is definitely required. Oh, Lord. Just hope she don't stand up. That's why I don't like her film standing up there. Ooh. However, if everything is proceeding normally, the delivery, the delivery will go along unassisted. When the mayor is down, it is permissible for the attendant to enter the stall unobtrusively to check on her position. If she has chosen a poor location too close to the stall wall for safe delivery, she should be forced to rise and hopefully reposition herself correctly. If necessary, grasp her legs and pull her clear of any obstructions. Hmm. It's been a while since I've had to do that. I'm going to hold my back on handle that one. Thank goodness I've got somebody else at the house. Okay, that's enough of that one. Um, and y'all, um, read to y'all, you know, every day, every day. Yes, yeah, she, she did fine with the first birth. But I mean, everyone's not alike, so each pregnancy is different. The waxing is, um, it's like on the end of her teats, her tits. Um, it's, um, it's a little bead of colostrum that uh, kind of closes them up. But um, wax on one side of hers has already fallen off. You don't always see it. You're welcome. Until, you know, somebody explains it to you, you don't know. Um, you can't, you can't always assume everything. Oh, I always watch her. I watch her on camera 24 hours a day. I have no earthly idea, Susan. I can't make her prediction. It's up to her and Mother Nature. You're welcome. Now, Mr. Tim and... Um, Becky, I think we're going to drop by and say hi to y'all after a while. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I, it's, it's hardcover right here where I'm reading it, but like uh, this bed, I don't even know if she's still alive. Phyllis Luz? Hello, S.E.? Um, it's, it's, I think she did Blessed Are the Food Mares and Blessed Are the Foals and stuff like that. Um, but Mama always had this book, so. Anyway. But y'all can go read for yourself, because some of you don't believe what I tell you, so, um, y'all can investigate yourselves. But you can't believe everything you read on the internet that Google tells you. No, she's not uncomfortable, honey. Look at her. She's just standing there eating. No, she is not contracting. Did you just listen to me? I just said you won't be able to see contracting from the outside. You won't see any physical evidence of what's going on on the inside.
foal will need a tetanus shot. It'll get an enema. Um, it'll get its navel, navel doctored with iodine. I'm going to use the antiseptic to keep germs out. And um, it dries up within a few days and falls off. Y'all, there's nothing amazing about me. It's just, I, I'm just, I am who I am. Oh, the feathers, yeah. I forgot to tell y'all about that. Um, the feet. When they, when the folds come out, the, um, their little hooves, it's, I call it feathers, but it, it, it's these little stringy, like, I don't know how to explain it besides saying feathers. It's a, like this tissue, and it's really, really soft. And um, that's how it is while they're inside the mother, inside the dam. Um, but after they come out, you can see it when they're first born. But uh, after they start standing on them, and within a day, their little hooves are hard. Isn't that amazing how God made them that way? No, she's not, she's not stiffening her legs. Oh, I don't have a, yeah, feels like wet feathers. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I've used uh, Vermetrin, um once. I just seem to always go back to the old Tommy iodine because that's what Mama always used. And I did have a foal um, within the last five years, I think it was. I can't remembered anyway dr b saved her life because um she got joint ill that's um it's a navel uh, where their navel cord can get infected and she had been um dipped in an antiseptic and stuff and but it just happened and normally they die from it but she didn't uh, she stayed at the doctor vet's office for i think two months to get her well so please don't tell me i don't care about my horses okay And I haven't, it's been a long time since I've seen a cow calf, a calf. Um, so I don't know if, if the calves are the same way. I'm sure they are probably something similar. Um, and I never have noticed it on the goats either. So I don't know, it's, it, but it is amazing. Yeah, when they first try to nurse and stuff, they're um, they're a little wobbly on their legs. Now, Sue, I've never heard that one, but okay. We're all here for an education. Y'all taught me something the other day I'd never heard of. Does she stay in all the time or do you let her go out for a walk? I don't know, guys. Y'all tell her. Y'all answer for me. But you believed what some of those trolls were saying. I just, you know, just, it's amazing. Um, 
But anyway, it's not about me. It's about her. It's about the birthing experience. Uh, every mare is going to um, foal the same. Now, donkeys, that's a little different. She hasn't stopped eating the whole two weeks. A lot of y'all have been watching her. Now, she did stop for about two or three days. She was kind of off her feed, um, not eating as good. Um, probably, I don't know, that was probably the second week in April. So, you just never know what they're going to do. Now, back behind her, uh, right up above her hips, they it will kind of cave in there, like once everything uh, is loosened up to um, um, situate. I mean, it, it kind of changes their hips. I mean, it, it loosens them up to, um, well, you, you're going to see what comes out of there, so. Is she a jumper? No, I guess she could be. Uh, <laughs> that reminds me of something funny. One year I had some winglings, and after they'd been winged from their uh, mother, uh, one of them could stand straight at the fence, just right there beside it, and jump like a deer and just go off the side. Hello?
She's eating grain right at the moment. Yes, a mare is a female of any horse breed. Um, they'll only continue it as long as I'm willing to run it. And I'm the one that gives you the updates. Why is the hay rack so high? I don't know. You'll have to ask my parents. Probably so they can't get a foot caught in it when they're pawing. They pull it down anyway, the hay out of the hay rack. Yeah, the camera's focused on the sunshine out there. No, I do not. Oh, how I reach it. Oh, because there's built-in holes right up above the hay rack from the hay loft to put the hay down into. Yeah, you are married to it, once you all There is no common sense in the world anymore. I have several. That thing's been driving me crazy. And the wind's been whipping. It, it takes it all, if I don't put that block out in uh -huh. front of it. Okay, here's Mr. Tim and Miss B. The man's been teaching her to read it out of the book. Oh. Hello, everybody. Hey, um, This is Tim. How's everybody doing? Have y'all been wearing uh, Delane out? Or has she been wearing y'all out? Hello, Vicki. Hello, Lisa. Ah, thank you. I guess you're talking to me. A little delayed birthday. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Beth. Barbara. I hope y'all are enjoying this. Hello. Hello, Sue. Are you sleeping out here? No, I sleep in the chair, but I'm watching all the people today. Yeah. It's a bit different a little bit. Even when you put on my telephone. Y'all can't hardly see her right now, can you? She's up. She's over. That's all right. She's over there eating right now. She's munching down. That's all she does is eat. She's eating for two. Just 
from Canada. Hey, how you doing? South Dakota. Uh, we've been, just wanted to let y'all know, we've been real busy. The meal's been covered up, uh, which is a blessing. They're awful blessed. And, um, the, of course, a lot of you don't know what I do. I'm a feed manufacturer, and uh, which uh, I keep this and the feed uh, part um, separate. That's not, we're not doing it to try to sell feed. All you folks overseas and, and across the country, I, it wouldn't be uh, feasible for me to send you feed because uh, it would cost so much in freight. But we do this to educate people. And uh, yeah, Dee's doing a wonderful job. She's, she knows her stuff. She's got a long history, her mama involved. Hey, California. But um, UK, but uh, anyway, we, um, we had a, somebody that called us at the meal, which you're more than welcome to call, uh, and to, wanted to donate. Um, Jennifer and I, or Jennifer talked to her, and then I, I did first, and then she talked to her, but wanted to donate, and wanted to know how to uh, donate. And uh, so I uh, wanted, we're going to, we've been trying to pin up the donation uh, button or where you to go to and uh, the birthingbarn.org, um, it's, you can go to it to give, to donate. And, uh, and I apologize, uh, we haven't been able to get it pinned up. Uh, Becky was trying today, so hopefully we'll get it on there to, tomorrow. But if uh, the ones that are really falling all the time, if y'all could write that down and um, uh, talk about it occasionally because there is people out there that want to help us uh, to, to build the Agricultural Learning Center, which that's uh, what our goal is, and uh, to help educate kids, uh, not just local, uh, but all over the world uh, about animals, about what we're doing here. and. Uh, we don't really go into the commercial part. And we, we're just talking about animals and their life and being born and, and uh, all the way to death uh, because we, we do run into that in life and also with the animals. And uh, so we all in between, we want to help educate people uh, about this. And this, the Ag Cultural Learning Center will help us do that. Um, we'll have a better camera system. Um, you good folks will be able to choose the direction you want to look at the animal and a better view and, and all this right now we're, is all being done by donations as of the breeders and Delane is a breeder and uh, her time, her money, um, of course uh, my time and uh, is in all the effect to help put it all together with Delane and Jeannie and the pals and, and different ones to, to, for, to do the breeding part. And uh, so we, we need your help on the donations. Um, we're right at a million dollars uh, on the building of donations. There's a lot of y'all, some people uh, out there, some of y'all have buy feeds for your animals, Manapro which makes a calf manna. Uh, they've donated $40,000. So we do have some corporate people, uh, companies that are looking at it. And I'm still reaching out to others too, uh, to help us. But it's not the big ones uh, that we want just involved. We want you and uh, to be involved. And because it's for you, it's to help educate people, kids, uh, about what we're doing here. And uh, um, my target um, is, I just asked what our target is, and it's uh, four million uh, is what it's going to take to build the building. And uh, it'll have a vet clinic in it to help take care of the animals, uh, where the vets can come in and help watch the animals, also to help teach uh, vet school. So uh, 
kids that want to become vets to help take care of animals can do that. Uh, we'll have a, a hatchery, a small little hatchery in it uh, to help hatch out chickens for the 4-H and FFA and also y'all could watch that too and we'll actually watch chickens uh, hatching out of their, their shells. And uh, also we a hydroponic system that we're looking to put in uh, to grow plants, um, uh, tomato plants or lettuce or whatever it may be. We've got a company going to help us with that. And of course, uh, it'll have solar on top to help again, education. Um, so we've got a lot of, uh, uh, we've got a lot of stuff that is uh, uh, going on with the building. But it, again, if y'all, the ones that are watching quite a bit, I appreciate your help, helping Delane answer questions and when she overlooks something uh, to the others or to the new people. But uh, we, uh, uh, if y'all could write that uh, birthingbarn.org on uh, your somewhere and just, rec just say it every once in a while, it'd be great. Uh, Lee is asked, is D doing a part of this, all of this? Yeah, yeah, D, D is great. Um, uh, all, the, all the breeders are great. Becky, my wife, she's involved, and, and it's taken all of us to do this. And, and folks, um, and I, I want to tell you this too, we, we're not getting anything out of it. We're not taking a pay out of it. Uh, we're not taking no money out of it. It's, it's all going towards the building. All this is volunteer work and uh, that we're, we're doing, and it's for y'all. And uh, uh, as you can tell, Delane uh, has spent a lot of hours down here, and uh, she's, she's, she takes great care of her animals. That's the reason she was picked to be one of the breeders. And... Um, and again, she's spending her own money uh, to do this. And just like I'm spending money too and to, for the iPads and different things. Now when we get to the building part, now of course we'll, we'll use the donations for that. But, uh, but anyway. I believe, Delane, uh, y'all were talking about the door being open. Um, of course, the care of the uh, animals, uh, where it's important. Let me see if I can turn it. Hey, how's that? Is that better? There we go. I can barely see what y'all typing now. But the reason she's got the door open is because of letting air flow through. Because it, it got a little bit warm this morning. And, uh, hey, hey, everybody. <laughs> Y'all, I, I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, uh, hopefully she'll have it here. I believe Delane said she was, she's bagging, and um, she noticed she's kicking a lot or raising her legs up a lot. Um, she's, uh, I believe she's already waxed, which you know they can wax several uh, days before, of course, but um, but she's beginning to kick and and. Um, walk in the stall and, and uh, Alabama hey you're welcome Miss King uh, Delane uh, there's a good question uh, there's no bad question folks I want to tell you that uh, it, she asked if we Delane has got fans. Uh, yes, she does have fans uh, in the barn. Uh, it's not quite that warm right now. But one thing about a barn, uh, no matter what type barn it is, cow, chickens, horses, whatever it may be, you want a good airflow if possible, if it, as long as it don't get too cool. 
on the animal to cause you build up ammonia uh, you know of course when they when they pee uh, you can have ammonia and it helps dry the barn and keeps the barn fresh and and um, so you want a good airflow through the barn I apologize, um, Becky and I haven't been out here much, uh, but like I say, we've been busy at the mill. Well, thank you about my accent, but um, as about as southern as you can get. <laughs> I have some people look at me like, uh, what'd you say? Say that again. Netherlands, hey Angela. Thank you for the happy birthday. Thank you. We, uh, it was a right interesting birthday. We had storms that day. Becky, they said thank you for your part. Y'all see how she's restless, moving around a lot, holding her tail up. Oh, she's peeing. False alarm. The way the camera is, I'm gonna move it just a little bit, y'all. I can't hardly see what y'all are asking. Um, I hope that, that's still okay. I don't think that was her water. I believe, I believe it may be her, it may be, I believe it may be. Folks, we may be getting close.
calling. No, she's not having it yet. First, at the first, it was P. So, mm -mm. no, they can hear us. Everybody start breathing real heavy. I'm just teasing. Folks, I believe my wife is getting more excited than the horse is. like you could take a pen and pop her. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, I'm going to move you a little bit. Is that better? I can't see her because of the bar. First, it was. Uh, Here it comes. Here it comes. You're coming. Yep. Here we go, folks. All right, Delane. Delane's down here. She's coming around. There you go. She's closing the door so she won't be able to get out. Delane, I'll let you get over here and, and talk to him. I gotta watch. Okay. They can hear you from there. Hey y'all, I told you about the sack. You saw it pop out for just a second. The amniotic fluid's coming out right now. Mm -hmm. Was it a big gush? It Where was, at, at first it was kind of clear, then mm -hmm. it turned a, there's a, a, foot, there's a, thing. A, a reddish color, and then it started coming out quite a bit every time she moved. Okay. So that's the reason I got 
back in the car. She just wanted to wait until I went to the house, didn't she? Yeah, that's where you usually work. Okay. Ann says, Happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. okay, folks, we're going. We're just going to be real quiet. You see the sack coming out, pretty good distance now. Y'all just watch. I'll let Delane talk if you need to. She the dog. Mm -hmm. when she opens them doors now she'll you're coming toward up towards you okay if she opens that door it's going to come right towards you the door Okay, folks, we learned something there. I did. Remind me to show them the feathery feet on the dust count. So I put little feathers on them in their feet, and then they mm -hmm. harden the next day. Maybe that's why. I heard you tell me that today. Come on, baby, get down to business. You know, she was just waiting until I got here, you know? <laughs> Look at her looking back at you. She's like a smart ass. Folks, if I'd come here Monday, she'd probably had it. She was just waiting for me to get over here. Delane, Delane's giving me her evil eye. There's a foot, babe. There's a foot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's love. She's easing it out. Father, I mean, folks, you are, mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. seeing... Um, something mm -hmm. being born. Miracle a birth. birth. Mm -hmm. On Mother's yeah. Day. Yeah. You go, baby. You got it. You got it. This is what this is all about, Come folks. On. You got it. You got it. God there created you some incredible things, and this is one there part you go. of There's it. There's another. Smile out. Yeah. There we go. There you go, Come folks. On. She's pushing. The line's going to reach in there, probably break the sack a little bit. There she goes. So we can breathe. There you go. Folks, this is what we're all about, is this right here. What we want to teach you up to this point, and uh, um, our Creator created these animals to actually do this on their own. Uh, we, don't, we don't always have to have a vet around. Uh, if something does happen, uh, we will call in a vet, and a vet does come out and check them. And uh, she may get up, yeah. Keep pushing. Come on, come on. Oh, look on the face. 
Folks, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. I hope you're enjoying this. This is more reason that we need to build this center to so we can do this in a, more often. Mama's pushing and Delane's going to pull a little bit. That's the other foot there, isn't it, Delane? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's got her two front feet out. It's that shoulder. Is that the shoulder or no, foot? No, we need the shoulder out. Okay. But that baby's not breathing. Lane's working on it. Make sure it starts breathing. You need help, Delane? Got it. Breathing? Yeah. Good. Delane's got it breathing. Alright, folks, I'm going There we go. I'm going to let her finish. Okay. Folks, Delane's uh, going to have to start working out, running or something. She's out of breath. Some excitement. <laughs> I thought it was dead. I know. Girl. It's not. It was scary. Yeah. It's pretty. So pretty. Yeah. Folks, this is how uh, I want to I wanna teach y'all something here also. Delane's actually crying because she thought the animal or the little one was dead. And I want there's you, there's uh, the feathers on the feet. I want you to realize that this is how important this is to Delane. And I've been hearing that some people out there have been trying to kind of put and being hard on her. And this is what it's all about. I mean, she's, she's not crying because she's out of breath, like me teasing her. It's because she cares so deeply with this Good girl. and uh, with Good the animals. Girl. Good girl. So y'all give these breeders a break. Some of you, not all of you, and I'm not talking to all of you, but uh, she she loves these animals. She wants the best for them. There we go. There we go. See the afterbirth right, wrapped rest. around her. You see the cord? Uh, there's a cord. Delane, let me, can I come in there, Delane? Yeah. I want, let me get y'all closer to in there. <laughs> and that baby's already trying to get up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> let me show them. Up. Okay, you talk to them. Huh? No. Okay. See the feet? See the little feathers that I told y'all about? Those will be hard by tomorrow. They're like little feathers. See? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And there's the cord, mm -hmm. and it's already trying to stand it's up. It's already trying to stand up. Is it a he or a she? We got a he. He. All right, little boy. And she's up there chewing. <laughs> she's back eating again. <laughs> 
She knows she's got to make eat to make milk. Hey, Mama, looking. Okay. It's okay. It's all right. I can't doctor your cord because the cord hadn't broke. There we go. There see, we go. let's look at the umbilical okay. cord again, Delane. Let's see, see where it's attached to the, the little one. Of course, you know, a lot of you mothers know this. Of course, it's still inside of her. And there's a sack, the white part that was wrapped around her. Look at her. And she's looking back at me like, Will you get out of here. She's looking for her baby. She's looking for her baby. Yeah. Somebody says a good name is off and running. <laughs> Out and running. There we go. There we go. Look at those big long legs. Look at those big long legs. Somebody just said it's such a blessing, and it is. Folks, this is what we're trying to do with all the animals. And uh, we need y'all's help with it, and so we can continue doing what we're doing and uh, to get this facility built. And I still think that she was waiting till I got here before she had it, you know. I'm gonna hold that one over the lane. You could have come two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. The lane just said I should have come two weeks ago. I believe y'all agree with that, won't you? Yes. 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 Uh, folks, sometimes if I miss one that y'all are, uh, that you know, I'm sorry because uh, there's so many talking. Good girl. Good girl. Ain't it pretty? Ain't it pretty? Yeah. Yeah. And Carter missed it, Dad Gummit. And you had him in the day for her. Yeah. Somebody asked earlier if Carter was here. She's wanting to stand. Uh, he's, he came out wanting to stand after I got him. So it's a coat, right? Uh -huh. I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's a coat. Well, happy birthday. Somebody's birthday is today, and it, this happened. So, congratulations. Here's your birthday gift. The reason I'm still rubbing on him is because he's. Oh, uh -huh. you just yeah. me in the uh -huh. head. Um, <laughs> to get those lungs going. Get all that fluid out of his. Because he wasn't breathing at first. There for a second. They Pe always scare me. Yeah. People also with, with pigs. Pigs will do the same thing. You don't, you don't want to pull all the pigs away from the other ones. You want them, when they're coming out, being born, you want them to all get to be together because it helps stimulate their, to make them uh, harden up and make them really want to eat and get, it gets this, every, their body going. Whoa. <laughs> this is good for her, though, to lay there for mm -hmm. the mama. Uh huh. Yeah, both of them. Becky, there's a, a pilot in that bag right there. We can. Oh, please. <laughs> Thank you. You got up to five point uh, four, I believe. I'm gonna go back and Tammy, uh, Tammy said, Delane, thank you for this. You're welcome. That they really appreciate it. I knew y'all would enjoy it if you ever saw it. Hey, look at you. Carolyn, you got a little white spot. Carolyn says her, her heart's skipping a beat. <laughs> Mine is too. What time is it? 
535. She went quick. 530, yeah. What, she did. 15 she minutes? Did. She did good. Good mama. Delane, how long does it usually take? Anywhere on average? from five minutes to an hour. Yeah. You know. Scotland. Hey, Sally. But I showed them the... I showed them the feathers, right? This, yes, you did. Let's show them again. Real close. See the feathers? That will be hard by tomorrow, y'all. God puts those in there so she doesn't, so the foal doesn't um, hurt the mama while it's in the, in her, in its sack. In other words, what she's saying is. It's a miracle. If it was inside of her and they were hard, she would tear her insides up like, like our fingernails. So they're, they're soft till she's born, and then they harden. It's one of God's miracles. Yeah. We don't know. Just like when a chicken lays an egg. Just when the that. egg When the egg comes out of the chicken, it's actually soft. You can actually bounce it. and But when it hits air, the shell hardens. Watch out, man. She might jump up. She, he's trying to get up. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, Jenny. I mean, uh, Delane. Yeah. Uh, text Jenny too. Folks, and she's up here chewing, eating a little hay. <laughs> Delane is trying to get some stuff, iodine for the biblical cord. I believe that's what you're getting it for, yeah. aren't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I believe, I believe it's already broke. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Biblical cord's off. Now Delane is going to put a little. See that umbilical cord? Hold on. Can't see your hand there. Oh, there see it right go. there? I just doctored it. Okay. And there's... She just laid back, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Now, Delane, she's got the iodine in a little bitty bottle, and she'll put it over the biblical cord, and then... And, uh, and try not to burn it. Try not to get her head, nose broke. That'll keep flies or anything off of it and keep infection down, is yeah, what that's for. Mm -hmm, to dry it Some up. Some people also. do the feet too. But it's really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Some people do. See, there, folks, I've learned something else. I'm learning along with y'all. We never did have horses, it was just cattle, hogs, and chickens.
uh, somebody just asked again, um, how long does it take? And uh, as Delane said, what a go, it may take five minutes, it may take an hour. She went down at what, 519? Five, it was about 519 or a little bit. Well, that's when the sack came out. Yeah. I'm going to ask the question for him. Um, how long does it take uh, most of the time on an average from the coat till she stands up or is already up to the... Uh, oh, we'll, nursing? We'll, we'll start nursing. We'll, we'll try to get her right on there. Okay. Or him on there. But uh, just say nobody's around. Within an hour or two. Hour or two, yeah. That's oh, well, I mean, that back, you've seen how he was, he's all of a sudden... I mean, he started out trying to get up. So mm -hmm. Is he, there an afterbirth and does the mayor eat? Yes. No, the mayor doesn't eat. Well, she normally does not get it out. This is the sack. He, had. he was. This is his own sack that he was in. It's, okay, so there's still afterbirth. Yeah, but but if if uh, out in a field somewhere by herself in the wild, would she? She might eat it. She, yes. she might she eat might. it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the folks, the reason they eat that, just like a pig or other animals, it has an afterbirth. If it the afterbirth is laying around it could uh, predators could smell it and come and do harm or kill her and the little one so pigs do the same thing how long does it take for the fold to form in the mom's belly i mean of course it's a 300 and 320 days to 365 days. For a days. whole ordeal, so. Mm -hmm. It's formed the whole time. Yeah. Just like in, uh, just like in us. Well, not me, y'all. <laughs> if I had something uh, forming in me, it'd probably be an alien. <laughs> and, and those smears aren't just calm. Yeah, I hope it would really be calm. an alien. <laughs> it'd pop out and start attacking everybody. Most smears wouldn't let us all in here. Yeah. Shit. Where's that other towel? Did you? Thank you. Uh huh. If the colt stands before the feathers harden, could it deform them? I would say the answer no. was no. No, because they're still soft. No, it's, it's, they'll, they'll harm them with them standing. If I had something uh, forming in me, it'd probably be an alien. <laughs> Somebody says the mother is supposed to clean the baby. Why are you doing it? Because it, the temperature is going to drop here after a while, and I want it dried off and clean. And that's to expedite. That's the food. care. That's the care that the lane gives, and some I'm people to give. Get, a, mm -hmm. get him around to his mama right now. Whoop! <laughs> hear her nickering at him. She's talking to him. Good job. Good job. Linda Brown. Good job. Is that the Good Linda job. Brown we know? No. Over. Okay. He's wanting and to get up and around. Lisa Bailey. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Miss Williams. Uh, 
Now, that didn't take 30 minutes because you texted me 30 minutes ago to come here. Pants are wet. That wind's cool. <laughs> Ms. Martin, uh, yeah, you missed the the, the birth, but uh, just remember, af after this one's over, uh, anyone that you want to tell, you can go back and um, and we'll have it on the site, and you can always watch it again. Okay. He's here. He's here. Mm -hmm. CK's probably going, thank goodness. <laughs> he probably is. <laughs> Somebody says it was eight minutes from water breaking for five. Hello, Lisa from Louisville. <laughs> yeah, Delane was. Uh, taking a towel and kind of drying him off a little bit quicker, but you're, y'all are right. And most of the time, if they're out in the wild, um, the mayor will clean them up. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but Delane wants it, the coat to be that wind's coming through here. dry, uh, because it's supposed to get cool again tonight. And, uh, as you can tell, look at them real close. If I can be Still, you can see him shaking just a little bit where he's a little shivering. cool. Shivering. So, nice. oh, so that's the reason she know. was drying it off. But also, Delane cares for these animals. And that's the reason she was doing it, giving a little extra click, uh, care. Excuse me. Mama, good girl, good girl. We also want to thank the... Uh, Look at there, that's a perfect picture. Yeah. <laughs> Look at there. Look at there, y'all. Look, Look. it's a perfect picture. <laughs> Look at his little ears looking at Both his of mama. Them. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's licking his foot. <laughs> Hello, Penny. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> it's, it's Mama's daddy. <laughs> this lady goes, damn, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I cuffed and said that. Don't go back in the box. Don't be upset because you missed it. it, it I, we, I warned y'all it goes quick once it yeah, starts happening. We, uh, You can go back after this one's over. You can go back and watch it. Yes, y'all heard me say a cuss word. I'm sorry. Jesus. Most of the time, Delane said they'll get up within an hour and uh, and start. It can't nurse yet. The mama's not up. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, on an average, She's an hour. Up. Yeah.
she say after the birth that she didn't give a testing for the after birth? No, it's after birth. Um, it, it just depends, you know. Uh, it, an hour, maybe two hours, but. There she goes. She's getting up, folks. Now she's checking the little one out. There she goes. What you doing, huh? What you doing? Good Lane, you want to take the camera and I'll get that after birthday or the no, she's still got it on yours. her. Yeah, it's not out yet. It's not out yet. I thought it was some on the ground there. Look at there. Look at there. Is he trying to get up? She gets protective as soon as they get up. I just didn't want her to come after him. With me? Mm hmm. Maybe stand in the hallway. Have you ever had a mare come at you with her mouth wide open? Uh, two times. It was a woman, wasn't it? I was thinking the same thing. It wasn't a woman, Glenn. <laughs> He's comparing that to a, a human. Figure. You remember Jerry Young? Yeah. Yeah. Mayor chased me across the field. <laughs> there wasn't nowhere to go. Yeah. I had to zigzag. Get away <laughs> from him. Well, at least you had that run in the background. Yeah. The, I could hear Jerry back there laughing. <laughs> you tell me what we want to do now. Okay, okay folks. I'm going to put you back over here. We're getting low on the battery. Of course, we don't want to miss nothing. We've got to plug in. I see the cat walking by.
Oh, my coffee. I forgot about my coffee. Folks, I got all excited about the coat coming out. I forgot my coffee. Were you planning on pulling an all nighter waiting on me? I didn't know. Like I say, the mayor is just waiting for me to get here. I guess. Oh, wow. He can't have walked to the barn earlier. She didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> she rolled her eyes in the back of her head. I almost went ahead first. <laughs> They'll flip around. They always fall around. If I. And long legs. Y'all see her cleaning her? I know y'all like all those technical, complicated words, but I'm going to give you the plain one. Well, I told them, I'll tell you something else that made a half way, though. I told them to all start going. <laughs> <laughs> so they all started, well, why didn't, you tell, why didn't you tell us all that two weeks ago? <laughs> Y'all, y'all folks are, are welcome for this, the education part in this, but folks, there'll be more. Uh, we, we don't plan on quitting. Uh, we've, uh, we see Jenny and them bred the pigs week before last, I believe it was. And uh, so we'll have uh, the pigs going to be born during August. What's the date, Jenny? August uh, Fair. I, think it, I, I believe it's around the 17th of August. So we've got we've got uh, around 27 to 30 animals to be uh, that are bred to be born during that uh, August period. Uh, right now, of course, everything going on that we don't know if there's going to be a fair or not. But this is not just about the fair. This is for year-round education. We're, we're hoping that even uh, uh, schools and, and uh, can use this, colleges can use this, um, but we, we want this to go year-round. So if they don't have the fair, uh, which I'm not saying they're not going to, I'm just saying that we're still going to do our part. We're going to still set up just like there was going to be a fair. All the breeders will be there. It'll be we'll be doing the same thing um, what, as we would if the fair was going on, just like we did last year. And we'll be uh, the live feed will be uh, going 24 hours during that period, and uh, 
we're not sure if it'll be for um, during those solid hours if it'll be uh, 10 days or last year it was 23 days solid and uh, so we had animals y'all a lot of y'all remember that so uh, again uh, we'll be at the same spot as we were these last two years because we, we're in the process of course raising the money for the agricultural learning center that's going to be the name of it but uh, um, but anyway so we, we, we plan on continue to do this Yeah, uh, somebody just mentioned last year the cow. Uh, we we had she did have hers, but we it was a spur of the moment. We of course had to. It was after the fair. Uh, we was hoping the whole, the whole time during the fair she was going to have it, the cow, and uh, I was going to have her little one, but uh, the calf, but she didn't, and. Uh, uh, but till about four or five days after we had to move her and I couldn't get <laughs> I couldn't get the live feed out there quick enough because we had the live feed over to the pigs so um, it hopefully this year we've got several five or six bred uh, cows um, to have uh, to have some little ones this year and uh, so uh, Hopefully we'll we'll get that on get that also. Of course we got sheep, we got goats, we got uh, we don't have a horse yet. Huh? We don't have a horse. <laughs> yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. We'll let somebody I'll find them. Well they can come meet the mm -hmm. Yeah, we had we we thought we thought we had we thought we had a uh, a mayor set up for the fair for this coming year, but it it didn't work out. But uh, if we don't have one set up, uh, we'll bring hopefully this mayor and coat here to the fair. And uh, but we're still looking for a mayor, so there may be a mayor that's is supposed to have one during that time too so we're not giving up on it but this year we're going to do uh, a little bit uh, um, thinking ahead Hey, I just had a renter just text me and says, hey, I'm floored. He says, how I've, I have lived in this house for almost six years and have always used a flashlight for my closet. Wonder, 
Yet, just now I realize not only is there a light socket, but it has a working bulb in it. <laughs> how did this? <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> Look, there's a picture of it. She just turned it on. So she never knew it was there. Is uh, what's your name? <laughs> Patrick's wife. <laughs> That's funny. Is she my son or what's up or Trying to get him up. Uh -huh, she She's nipping at him. Uh -huh. Folks, what you if what you just saw, she was nipping at him a little bit, trying to get him to get up. She knows that he's got to uh, uh, got to feed. You see how she turned? The lane just opened the door, and she turned. Yeah, she turned that rear end towards the lane to protect the little one. It's okay. It's all right. I was just going to help him get his foot up. Can I help him get his foot up? Do you want me to help him? Hmm? Hmm? You want me to help him? Huh? You want me to help? It's okay. It's all right. It's just me. It's just me. How long Good his legs girl. are. Good girl. He's huge. Good girl. Good girl. No wonder she had it took a little Good bit. Girl. I got him. 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 My back will be hurting in the morning, but I got him. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I think poop just went in my boot. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. Delane, I would get in there and help you, but she'd come after you. Yeah, she'd come after me, probably. Here we go. Oh no, she let me hug her the other day. Hug the other day. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah, I know. Good girl. Long legs, aren't they? Okay. He'll get up. <laughs> the lady <laughs> just got poop, poop in her boot and on her foot, y'all. Uh, was that compliments over the... No. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Folks, I got to show you something real quick. You know, some people say uh, we don't take care of the animals. Delaney doesn't ca take care of her cat. <laughs> Look at that cat. I don't believe she feeds it. Do y'all? He was just a stray that came here. He was a stray. Uh huh. And he's never left. He's never left. He was in here. He was. They heard him the other night crying. Is he a good mouser? Birds and uh, cat food, right? Yeah. What kind of cat food do you like? Uh, what's the 
what's that hairball formula? Stuff? Oh, I, yeah, like Becky diamonds, feeds. Um, whatever Jen helped me to get. Yes, diamonds. Mm -hmm. That's what you feed, isn't it? Becky? I don't know if it's hairball formula or not. I believe it is. Diamonds. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know much about cats. I love cats. I mean, we just always fed them, but somebody, when he was coughing up something one day, they said, you need hairball formula. I'm like, okay. I love that movie. Was it Puss in Boots? Yeah. Yeah. Puss in Boots. I love it. All right, folks. Get you, get you back in here. Watch how carefully she steps without stepping on him. Not being mean to them, she's just encouraging them to get up. Not like a lot of you mothers out there, when your children, when they try to reach for something they don't supposed to reach for, and you've already told them twenty times not to touch it. Eventually, it comes smack. Yes, the birth was caught on this video, this, this right here, this four hours here. It's about 50 to 55 minutes in. Yeah. But this one has to shut down first before they can watch Does it. it right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then they can go back and watch uh, it. After, the, after this shuts down, you'll be able to, uh, to go back and watch it. When uh, Delane walked off and went to the house for a minute, of course, she first peed, and it was kind of clear, but then uh, she started, I thought, peeing again, but it had, it had changed color. And so that's when I told Becky to get a hold of Delane to come back down. Huh? Was she still uh -huh. eating? Yeah. I was mean, was, she, I mean, she, she got through. She got through eating. She just turned around. She peed a little bit. And, <laughs> and then, but that's when I. So some of them, mares do eat yeah. right up until foaling time. Hello, Lynn Edwards. Y'all all welcome for this. More Delane than, than me. Delane's the one that spent all the hours and money and Yep. Amen on that one. You know what? I don't even know if this is shared on my page. I don't even know if when I restarted it this afternoon. I don't think I this was doing before. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even shared to my friends. <laughs> Well, you can you can move it over to yeah. it, can't you? Uh -huh. Hey, did you talk to the gentleman at the Breeders Association? Well, yeah, he's yeah. probably been watching. Yeah. Okay. The folks also the we talked about the donations and um, uh, we've had some people calling wanting to the meal wanting to donate. And uh, we've got some people sending us some checks, and we want to thank those people for for those donations and, and wanting to help us out. And um, But there's another organization, the Walking Horse Breeders. Um, Just the Walking Horse Breeders. All right, what's it called again? T-W-H-B-E-A. Yeah. All right. Tennessee Walking Horse Breeders. All right, it's just, yeah, it's a Tennessee Walking Horse Breeders Association. They, they are donating, uh, I believe it's $3,000 each year for the next, uh, well, they've already donated 
wants another four years to us. And uh, uh, so we want to thank them. And, and uh, uh, of course, the lane is part of that. And, and uh, but we, we are uh, educating on not just uh, one breed, but all horse breeds. And, um, and again, we're just, we're talking uh, again to educate on how a, uh, a mayor has its little one and, and what goes along with it and how many days and um, everything else that goes along with it to help educate and to put something out there that people that normally don't are never around horses or not ever around animals except maybe for cats and dogs and there's nothing wrong with that but uh, uh, to so they can see something being born that's beautiful and uh, and what uh, our higher power has given us and uh, uh, it's just a it's just wonderful thing and uh, so we, we need y'all's help to build this agricultural learning center and uh, um, remember it's uh, uh, agriculturallearningcenter.org am I correct on that one? birthingbarn.org birthing excuse me birthingbarn.org um, oh, Becky could you oh that's a good uh, look at that look on my face lord have mercy what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it on again it's on our page but I'll put, I'll put it on again right now but uh, we've got all we've got several more going on we've got uh, Tommy and uh, Jennifer uh, doing the pigs. We got Miss Goins and doing some uh, uh, sheep, uh, hairless sheep, and we've got the pals of all the pal girls. Who's, uh, who's doing the goats, Miss? Miss Goins. Miss oh. Sue. Miss Sue is doing the goats again, and uh, we've got a new um, a breeder that's going to be with us this coming year, and it's Mister and Miss Reese. And uh, they have got uh, goats, and uh, um, really and truly, it's a goat—the goat breed that y'all are used to seeing, and the ones that's got the horns, and the larger goats that you see on TV a lot of times. And uh, uh, but anyway, they're they're coming aboard this year, and have bred. I believe he told me yesterday three. Um, so we've got that going on. So we've got. Of course, the Smith family, uh, Jamie will be back, and uh, they, of course, breeding uh, the cows. And uh, so we've got a lot of people uh, that is uh, involved in this. And Oh, girl, what you doing? Hmm? Uh, I think I have a
<laughs> Folks, uh, what you're seeing right now, that's what I used to do when I used to drink. I'd fall over against stuff and couldn't stand up. And... But now I've been sober th for 30 years, so I don't do that no more. Ooh, wobbly. You'll get a hold there of it. Go. There you there go. There you go, buddy. There you go. Still got it. Big long thorns, huh? Look at you. Look at you. You're almost as tall as a door. If you went up straight enough, you would be. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. I got your mama. There we go. There we go. My mama. Nurse, so to help mama pass that after birth. Hey, you see her sides cramping? Can you see her sides cramping in? That's she's going that that's her sides contracting. It's scary watching him flip around until he gets there. <laughs> He's huge. It's not a filling. What's a cold? Um, when they're mousy like that, mousy gray when they come out, that means they're going to be jet black. They're going to be black. <laughs> She's like, what is he doing? He didn't get home. His back, his back's taller than that feeder. Yeah. It is, isn't it? <laughs>
watching it on the screen up there. Uh-huh. Look at that little snip on, right on his nostril. A little snip or he, her. I, now I've got myself. I couldn't see. Where's her fix it from? Yeah, it could be from. Now that I'm looking. But it sure did feel like a boy. I like the yeah. curbs a little yeah. bit closer. Uh-huh. <laughs> Still point five, point three. Ain't that amazing? Whoa. You're gonna go ahead first. She's over there, buddy. I hear it. I hear it. Well, that's what I Here, here I corrected that poor lady that was saying it was a killing. Maybe she, she could see more than I have because yeah. I hadn't looked since I felt. You know, uh, be honest with you, looking in there, uh-huh. it's brighter on the screen than it is right there. Than it is yeah. me and you looking in there. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. But Delay, come here and look. Oh, you poop? Okay. Poop her. She's watching it poop, poop. y'all. Did it poop in your boot <laughs> earlier? Was that it? Maybe. It didn't look like I believe it pooped. And Delaney's boot got to go. And Delaney ain't got no socks on, folks. Also, Delane's part dog. She, you know, how dogs do, you know. Well, it is a girl. <laughs> it is a girl. Uh-huh. All right, folks. Whoever said it was uh, a girl earlier, you, uh, you, were right. you are the it. grand prize winner.
JB, that's who it's. I said it was a fitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, either way. It'll Philly, is healthy in yeah. here and safe. There you go. Philly, Colt, whatever. Uh, it's uh, main thing, it's healthy. And main thing, uh, we've educated. That's what this is all about, folks. Hey, Blunt, do you notice it's freezing in? Um, Every once in a while. It's probably losing memory. Yeah. Normally, I haven't noticed it freezing. Okay. Mm -mm. Normally, if it's going to do something, it just shuts itself off. Right. But thank, thank the Lord it stayed on long enough. To yeah. Yes. <laughs> Folks, we've had uh, some problems, technical difficulties for us, us bunch of hillbillies here in Tennessee on some of this stuff. But just realize, please, that what we're what what we're using, uh, what we're using equipment wise is. Uh, but we will get uh, um, once we get the building built, we'll have uh, real nice equipment. Something because technology is always changing, and. Um, uh, in the building, we'll have a computer system in there to help uh, do the cameras it's and its have its, one. yeah, it'll have its own computer and, and we'll have up to 50 cameras in the building uh, on the animals. So um, you, you see what we're going for and, and we need your help again. Sweet what is it, Sweet Becky? Huh? Birthingbarn.org. Birthing Sorry, dot org that's all right uh but uh, again if y'all don't mind write it write it down please hey person hello girl what you doing oh you getting some water okay sorry about that didn't mean to interrupt you I actually thought you was coming to see me, but you wanted water. Good girl. Good girl. And yes, normally I do tie that up until it falls out, but I'm not going to stress her out by it. She'll lay down eventually and pass that up. Yes, yeah, Debbie, that is correct. You can give. Uh, that's what the, the donations are for, is, is for the Agricultural Learning Center. Still, still 4.6. Easy, easy. Philly, I know the feeling. She did that same thing to me this morning. <laughs> There's two in her back there. There you go. Is she nursing yet? Yeah, that's what she tried. That's why she squealed. Oh, okay. That's why the Mary squealed. Oh, okay. I'm sitting here watching. I didn't even see her do it. There she is, nursing. Oh. 
problem. <laughs> I guess it was the pink tail route. We had blue on, you know, the day before. Mm -hmm. Oh, so now the uh, that determines if it's going to be a boy or girl. <laughs> huh? No, I'll go first. Don't think I really need the sex part, but people were were saying, "What are you getting out on that thing?" Oh, is that color? It's a color. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I told y'all wrong. See, everybody can be wrong. Canada. It's had a lot of people from Australia. It's yeah, probably yeah. nighttime all the time. Or, well, no, I guess it's morning time all the time. I don't know what time it is over there. I don't know. I don't know what time it is. Or say it is. It's probably dark. <laughs> Anyway, the, the first milk, of course, is the filly is drinking is, is colostrum milk. And that colostrum is what gets her gut going and gets the stomach going real good. And it does the same thing with, uh, uh, with piglets and uh, with goat and sheep. They, the first milk is always the colostrum, which is, again, the bacteria, enzymes, the nutrients and everything. Of course, the milk, regular milk, that comes after. Um, the colostrum, of course, has got vitamins and minerals. Canada. Antibodies, that's correct, in the colostrum. Everything it, that the filly or the coat, yeah. whichever it may be, uh, will need is in that colostrum to get things going uh, as uh, breaking down and getting the stomach to work. The enzymes and the yeast cultures and, and all of that. Um, we've even got to, in our in feeds, we've even got to where we're putting bacteria, enzymes, and yeast cultures in the feeds now to help keep the animals healthier, uh, their guts healthier, uh, so hopefully they don't have to use, they won't get sick as much and uh, won't have to use antibiotics. That is true about the antibodies in the first few hours. She's getting some water. Boy, all your
Yeah, it's uh, folks, it's freezing on our side too. Uh, occasionally, don't know why. You're welcome. It's a girl. One lady says it's kind of like Christmas. Hmm. I don't understand why it's free. Uh, well, welcome to my two weeks. <laughs> of I mean, so it was doing it to you? Oh, this is why I kept having to get a code from her and we kept getting shut down yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, something about. If you can get a hold of her, because sometimes she'll lay her phone down. I've got it attached to my hip all the no, time. I've been trying to keep it. Safe. She's had it. Well, I can't. I can even go. You stay right there. You stay right there. Yeah, you know the grocery store now. Mm -hmm. You know the grocery store and the food. Okay. Go back to the whole All right, there we go. Folks, you just saw the Local cold, sack, after birth. Yeah. 
Flash and stuff. Um, Flash's about the same size bar. Flash might be a little smaller, shorter. Uh, Flash is taller. She's kind of. Let me get this, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me get this. I could use a pig. All right, folks, we're going to get graphic here. All right, Delaney, what are we looking at? We're looking at the stack. Mama used to. Mama used to take it and fill it up with water so that you could see if there was any tears in it. Of course, there's the hole where it came out. And what would she do with that? If there was any little tears in it or anything, it means that mayor might have retained some of it. Uh -huh. and that the sack. Mm -hmm. See, this is the first part, and then this was all what the fold was in. There's, there's a fancy name for it, I can't remember it. But see all the veins and stuff that mm -hmm. were feeding the baby? Pretty clean to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you can either spread it out. I wish I could have laid it on something cleaner, but look at that. Got something else in it. And I won't put it in a feed sack and forget that it's in the back of my truck. Does it? It is, isn't it? And how long has that baby been out of there?
I'm going to shut it down real quick. It's beginning to freeze. We're right back, folks. Don't leave us. You never know. Okay. All right. Come here, Delaney. Just 